Oh, Penn State astronomy and astrophysics is among the best because, well, first, Penn State itself is a world-class research university. It has a strong international diversity. If you go on a walk in one of the many parks here, you'll hear a pleasant medley of Russian, German, Spanish, Japanese. Uh, yet it's also in a very pleasant countryside with a low cost of living, a good airport. Uh, Penn State Astronomy itself is a large, diverse astro department with more than 60 faculty researchers who have a wide range of research interests. It's also experiencing rapid growth right now, adding four new faculty in the last two years. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, there's a friendly collegial atmosphere. It's very pleasant to work here. Everyone has a smile and will welcome you into their office for a chat. I study galaxy formation and evolution. Uh, if you ever looked up at the Milky Way and wondered where it all comes from, well, I have two, and that's how I ended up here. Galaxies are the cradle of life in the universe. They are the candles that illuminate the large-scale structure of the universe, and they represent the evolution of normal matter, like you and me, on the largest scales. My research specifically focuses on using large cosmological surveys to understand the evolution of the galaxy population as a whole across all of cosmic time. My goal is to do this by hook or by crook. I use big data, I use analytical models, tailored observations, astrostatistics to understand how galaxies formed and evolved. And ultimately, it's these kinds of models that let us understand how all of the stars in the night sky came to be how normal matter assembles itself on the large scales, and how the universe itself is shaped on the very largest scales. The best thing for me about being in this department here at Penn State is the world-class computational and astrostatistic resources. You know, the Roar supercomputing facility is state-of-the-art, it's professionally run, powerful, with over 23,000 computing cores. And this is combined with strong faculty expertise in astrostatistics and astroinformatics in our department. This has left Penn State in a superb position for the near future of astronomical research, taking advantage of the ongoing and upcoming explosion of astronomical data to understand how the universe works. I, mean, I think a grad student should come and work with me because you know, galaxy evolution itself, it's a story that's about to be written right now. Um, you know, we've known the ending of galaxy evolution for a long time by looking at the galaxies around us in the local universe. And just in the last 15, 20 years, during my thesis in grad school, we've been able to really understand the middle of the story around Redshift 1, 2, and 3 using the Hubble Space Telescope. And now with the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope and with huge upcoming cosmic surveys like the LSST and the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope, we're finally in a position to tell the beginning of the story. That means researchers working on galaxy evolution right now have the opportunity to write the first complete storybook of galaxy evolution. I just find that prospect wonderfully exciting. Um, and we get to do this work with the most exciting and innovative computational tools, such as Bayesian statistical models, neural networks, machine learning tools. And these techniques are very useful for understanding how galaxies came to be. They also let you do fascinating professional research in a wide range of cutting-edge fields.